There's normal watches, there's boring watches, there's everyday watches. These are none of them. We've pulled together 10 of the coolest and quirkiest watches in the world. If you're looking for a cool watch and you want to pay a little bit less, why not take a look at a pre-owned watch from watchfinder.com. Tom, time telling has been uh, an evolution over many, many centuries and even millennia. And even to this day, people can think of very innovative ways to do it. It seems strange then that so many watches do look identical. So I'm quite keen to find out what some of the not identical watches actually look like. Yeah, I think um, time telling has got a bit too easy. So these <laughs> watch brands are trying to change that. Let's take a look. So starting off, um, if you want to talk about quirky watches, uh, your first port, of course, got to be Mr. Jones watches. Mm -hmm. And um, this particular one, I think it's a fairly new one, is called Berry Late. Uh oh. <laughs> yeah. It's been designed by uh, artist Ana Diaz. There is some very strong language on the dial you may notice, uh, but that strong language only occurs once every hour. Um, in the interim, it's just a jumble of random letters that slowly come together to form the sentence FLIP! Time is just a social construct. I'm paraphrasing there, it says something slightly different. Um, but it's really fun, and you can read the time by the two strawberries that orbit the dial. The half-eaten one is the minutes, I think. Very fun, very cool, and um, a bit naughty as well, so that makes it even better. It is for £195. It's a really good little bit of fun. And after all, time is just a social construct. Why do we have to get up so early for work? Why is that? This watch is actually going to bring down the uh, the construct of normality that we all adhere to. This is the beginning of the end, Tom. We're asking some serious questions in the form of a fun, fruity watch. <laughs> Uh, that's how I like my serious questions to be asked. Tom, moving on to the next watch. This is the Project Watches Zeller. And I wonder if perhaps you've ever looked at a watch and thought, wow, I really discerned the time way too quickly. I need to slow things down. I need to reduce the pace of my life such that I could enjoy it more. Well, this is the watch for you because not only is it inspired by a very contemporary and modern aesthetic with those bold, bright colors and shapes, it's almost virtually impossible to tell the time with. <laughs> yeah, it's like how people can read tea leaves. It's sort of like how some guitarist can throw down some worn out plectrums and read the time. That's what this watch <laughs> is saying to me. Yeah, you do need the instruction manual on hand to remind yourself how to do it, but I will try to walk you through it if I may. Yellow and black. Don't worry too much about those. Yellow is the 12 o'clock marker and black is the 6 o'clock marker. You then have the hours, which is the blue thing. You have the minutes, which is the, the red nublet. And then you have the seconds, which very, very small silver shape in the middle of the dial makes it almost useless. And that's the point. I, you know, the red blob is quite pointy. I think you're getting some good accuracy on the minutes there. Uh, the blue <laughs> hour blob is, yeah, not very discernible, but it's fun. I bet it looks great when it's whizzing around. Moving on then to the clock too. I want to say Glock, um, but that's just the gangster in me. Very different thing. Clock two, clock, clock. Now, this is much easier watch to read. Um, it may not appear so at first glance because there's just a mass of random letters on the dial. But all you need to do is press the button and the time will be spelled out for you. And you just read it. You literally read the words. It is half past seven. Simples. If, like me, you've always been interested in crosswords but neither had the intellectual capacity or the time to do them, this is a crossword puzzle that solves itself, which is actually fantastic. You can have all of the reward with none of the effort, a little bit like most of social media today. But it's a really cool concept. I've seen that you can get these as wall-mounted clocks as well. And uh, yeah, it is half past seven. Have you ever been asked the time? By a stranger and, and in such a panic to read your own watch you, you you read completely the wrong time you give them the wrong hour or, or you you just stand there and babble this solves that problem it is half past seven you can say with confidence and be proud of yourself for it yeah exactly there is seconds mode which i can't quite work out so if if, if that's not enough of a challenge for you you can put it into seconds mode and uh, try and read the time from that 20 past Anyway, Tom, all this telling the time is making me tired. 
And when I get tired, I like to look at ducks. And that's why the Watches That Don't Tell The Time Classic Rubber Duck is the watch I'm looking at for $62.62. .62. You will notice the big bold display that looks a little bit like a paddling pool has a background of rippling water and in there are two little rubber duckies. And no, not a badly poached egg, but that is one one times splashy bubble. Isn't that sweet? Now, you might be wondering, how do you tell the time? It must tell the time in some way. Did you not listen? This brand is called Watches That Don't Tell The Time. It does not tell the time, Tom. Stop asking. Maybe I'm just so jaded by the price of watches that for $62, I don't care that the watch doesn't tell the time. That's a bargain. <laughs> I really like it, though. It's really fun. I love that sort of case shape that it just looks like an inflatable pool on your wrist is is so much fun. If for any of those uh, animal lovers out there who have a concern, Watches that don't tell the time would like to iterate that all standard documents and paperwork are signed and ready for you to adopt these duckies and to assume full legal responsibility for their well-being. Lovely. Moving on then to the Dot Watch. This is a innovation that's been made by the Dot Incorporation. It's not a watch brand, um, but a company that uh, makes uh, Braille-based devices to help the visually impaired. And this watch is incredible because it has a... Um, dynamic braille system on the actual dial and so you can read the time by touch and it changes and can issue you the time it can also work as a smartwatch as well and, and, and give you your your text messages as well so you can read them from the braille on the dial it's really really clever and such a good idea for once a watch that's useful <laughs> traffic information and weather information also readable on that um, but I see a, an additional use that perhaps they hadn't considered because you know when you're in a boring meeting and you can't see a clock anywhere and you want to know how much time you've got to run out you can't sit there and just whip the old ticker out and take a look in front of everyone now you can just have a little fondle of it under the table and, and you'll know yeah, it's when you when you do read the time in braille and then you go, Christ, is that all it is? Um, you have to make sure you don't blur that out afterwards. <laughs> so there you go. That is Dot Incorporation, not just thinking about the blind people, but being very universally accepting and creating something that is useful for everyone. Tom, have you ever thought to yourself that you would like a watch to look like a drop of water in a rippling pool? Of course you have. You don't even need to answer. This is the Drop D. Okay, yes, the hours, minutes and seconds, the discs right in the centre are very small and almost impossible to read, but otherwise this lens-like orb, which represent that splash in a rippling pool, you don't need to know the time because you're just going to look into this thing and think about life and where it's going and what you've done with it and should you have studied harder in school and perhaps is it really worth living after all? All for $145, Tom. Very impressive. I like it. I, I think it's very, very zen. I love that idea. Um, it didn't twig with me at first. I thought, oh, tyres. Um, but now you said the <laughs> drop in the pool. I can see it. It's very nice. Um, yeah, I like that. That's a fine watch and that's a great price. I also think it perhaps might enable us as a bit of a, a middle ground, something that gets us used to the idea of the all-seeing eye that will become much more present as our futures evolve, staring at us from close proximity and absorbing our entire lives in great detail. Yeah, you can imagine this watch um, disobeying direct orders at some point in the future, can't you? And perhaps <laughs> jeopardising the entire mission. So moving on then to the ticker watch. Now, this is an idea that many have um, thought of, but no one's managed to execute. But ticker seem to have had a very good stab at it. This is a watch that can estimate your life expectancy through the clever use of algorithms. Oh, God bless those algorithms. It gives you an estimation of when you might cark it and counts down to that time uh, with a nice digital display. You have to have some sort of sunny disposition to get any enjoyment out of this watch. Um, I can't imagine it's something I would enjoy. If, if your own mortality isn't something that you want to consider every time you read the time, you can also use this 
As a personal or group timer, says Ticker, for instance, if you want to lose £10 in 30 days, you can program that time frame into the watch. Um, they've also very kindly reduced the price from £79.99 to £59.99, although the watch is currently unavailable. Uh, perhaps it's died a death of its own. Oh, that's a shame, but good line. From a deceased owner to a deceased technology, this is the newer Nixie watch. Now, you might have heard of Nixie bulbs. These are the things used to uh, displays and whatnot uh, back in a period before LED dot matrix displays, and they have a really beautiful warm glow. They come in, in reds and in this uh, sort of tealy colour, and they're sometimes even tinted with different filters too. So you think back to the good old days of hi-fi, those, those displays with all of those lovely colours that feel really warm and radiating. Now you can have that on your watch with two Nixie tubes displaying the time. Now what I especially like about this is it, it really throws me back to those uh, old adverts you used to see on TV about old ladies catching fire in the night next to their three bar heaters and there's a certain warmth to that that this watch really imparts. It's a warm glow, it's uh, just, a, a, just a, a, a slight risk, a slight fire hazard and we all need one of those to, to keep ourselves pepped up in the morning. It definitely does remind me of our old bathroom heater from the 80s. But at the same time, it's, it feels very futuristic. It's like a, an alternate future that we didn't quite um, go with. Um, I almost wish there was some sort of like Frankenstein's lever that you had to crank to start the thing <laughs> up and it would hum and uh, you could reanimate a cow with it or something. But... Um, yeah, really cool. I like it. It's very Fallout. I love that tube. That vibe is very cool. It is $629. And looking at the lights, I see where moths are coming from now. I've always wondered, what are you doing? You come out at night to go and find light. Why don't you come out in the day? But this, this I want to sit in a dark room and stare at for a while. Yeah, I'm very drawn to it. Yeah, you could hang it up outside the back of a Chinese restaurant and it'd look the business. <laughs> Next, I'm talking about the watch brand Connie and the bespoke timepieces made by artist Alfred Chia. And uh, they're all variously themed and you tell the time um, via these sort of figures in a mini diorama that takes place inside the watch case. The figures are all sort of offset on the various turning discs and they rotate around and that's how you tell the time. I especially like the Desert Storm watch, which is described as the tank broke down in the middle of a sandstorm and the commando is finding his way out of it. Perfect for a little like PTSD in the afternoon, don't you think? <laughs> yeah, um, maybe go for the koi pond. Um. <laughs> I, I love the, uh, the imagination that goes into these and I believe that every single one is a unique creation and there is an abundance of them. I've even seen one that is themed around the alien movies too. Yeah, they're great. On to our last watch, Tom. This one actually does a pretty bang up job of telling you the time. I thought I'd bring it back home to earth with the Devon Tread 1. You'll notice a whole series of bands going up and down, left and right, back and forth, each one with a string of numbers on it. Those numbers will align to various different windows on the watch and will read out the time. Is it small and compact? No. Is it quiet and unobtrusive? No. Is it cheap? No. Do I want one? Yes, please. I really love this idea. It looks amazing. It's really clever. I see this thing as like a scale miniature of the side of a ship where you see the registration along the side. There's so much detail and depth and layering to it. You could explore it for ages. And I mean, it's quite a mess to read, so you will need to explore it for ages to actually read the time. But what a great idea. I'm glad there are people on this planet who are thinking of stuff like this. Yeah, I love it. I love I love the case. It feels like a observation tank where they've, you know, they've made that panel glass so you can see how the machine works. It's lovely. Well, there you go, dear viewer and listener. Those are some of the craziest and quirkiest and fun watches, I'm sure you'll agree, in the world. Have you seen any others that you think we should take a look at? Pop them down in the comments below. Please do like and subscribe as well as it really helps. And check out watchfinder.com too for your next watch purchase. Thank you so much and we will see you next time. Goodbye.